All right, you guys. So when I was uh, recording, my camera shut off. And I think I thought it was on uh, record, but it was actually on picture. So it was kind of just sitting there or something. So I have to do the I have to do the thing where you can pick your cards over again. So that way you pick the right pile. Because I don't want to start it on the pile. And then you choose it because that pile sounds good. And it's not by your intuition. I'm not here to lie to you. I'm not here to, you know, finesse or nothing like that. I want you to get a full honest reading. So... Even though I know what Power One said, because I was basically reading that shit before, because I thought it was recorded. So I'm gonna give you a second. Okay. I'm gonna just get started. So, back to Power One. If you chose Power One, you the end of this. Now, what I was saying about this card is like, your relationship. Well, when I first turned it on, I read it quietly, but it was like a whisper. And I was like, why am I whispering, right? And it says, I am a healthy and vital and strong. My radiant love of life fills me with healthy, vital, and strong cells. Each cell is a warrior. Everyone has his own sword and shield. I dare you to try to penetrate my cellular army. Don't think so, chump. That's what it says, right? But I whispered that. And with this car... Well, first off, before I even go into that, this reading is about what's going on with my love life. Is this a good connection? So it's between, it's about basically like what's either what's going on with your love life. You might be single or if you're in a relationship and you want to know like what's going on with that person. So it's like that. What's going on with my love life? I'm sorry. I remember I already recorded and shut off. So I'm kind of like all over the place now. But like I was saying with Power One, if you chose Power One, what I'm seeing with this is like, it's a strong, healthy relationship. However, it's like a slither of, of doubt. Because if I, like I was saying before, it's like you see everybody here has their helmets on, they feel safe. But this one is kind of like his helmet is like falling a little bit. He kind of moved his shield so he's not fully protected. And I, I was going to say, I feel like this, this slither of hope has something to do with somebody's family. Particularly the mother. Maybe you feel attacked by his mother or your mother feels attacked by him or something like that. Somebody's mother is the issue that's giving up the sleeves that I hope. That's like for one person, though. The rest of you may have something. Before I said it has something to do, it might have to, had something to do with sleep. And when I thought of cause I thought of sleeping for some reason, somebody's back turned. Maybe you petty like that. Maybe your partner hasn't been cuddling you as much or something. Are they not as affectionate as you would like them to be? Or maybe you had a dream of that they cheated or something or that they wasn't right for you or something like that. But it's something along those lines. But this card is a little bit confusing to me because I think you're confused. I don't know. I don't think that you know why you feel this way. I think that this person really didn't do anything particular. But you might be like in a situation where you feel like it might be a little bit too good to be true. Right? So, is this connection healthy? I'm going to say yes. However, it's like you're having doubt. And I'm going to try to figure out what you, why you're having doubt or what's wrong with it. So, I think I'm going to use mostly words because this is too descriptive. What's, can you elaborate on Power One's love life? Can you elaborate? Yeah. Potential. Okay. It's like... Yeah, this is what I thought. Okay, it's like you're not seeing a potential of this relationship. It's like it's all these rainbows and clouds around you, but you're not listening to it. It's like, what are you not seeing, though? You listen to something. Who are you listening to? You might be, hold on, guys. You might be talking to somebody that's giving you some type of doubt. That's what it looks like to me. It looks like somebody, it looks like one of you, one or two of you are talking to somebody that's giving you some type of doubt. And I really feel like this is some type of mother figure. It don't have to be a mother. It could just be a motherly type figure. So it could be an older sister, older cousin, or something like that. Older friend, mentor. But someone with a motherly energy is giving you some type of advice. You're listening to that advice. But it's nothing particular, particularly toxic about your relationship. But I don't see anything. I don't see anything. As in the energy right now, I don't see anything. I see a strong relationship. This is this is a strong relationship. And this is one of the strongest cards in my deck. 
I'm not saying it's perfect because it's never going to be perfect, but somebody is playing doubt. I really feel like something, something or somebody is playing in doubt. For somebody, for some of you guys, it's like your own personal insecurities. For you, others of you, it's like a fe some type of female figure is playing some type of doubt in you. Yeah. It's like, and it's, this, this doubt is making you put your guard up against this person a little bit. But really, you acting tough to, with this person. You acting real, like, just real tough for no reason, right? But you don't really feel this way. It's like you really want to love and you want to be in love and you want to cuddle. You want to be kissed on and stuff. You probably a Leo. You probably a Leo or you dealing with a Leo male. Or it could be a Cancer. Some of you guys are cancers, and they and like you just stop acting like that. I mean, you just start acting like that, so they can definitely tell. Because cancers are really emotionally emotional and caring, but they can when they get angry, they can like put up a hard exterior. And you might be putting up a hard exterior, and it's like we know, we know, because you're a cancer. Like <laughs> stop it. Some of you guys might be a Sagittarius, and I hear Aquarius. Somebody is definitely faking a funk. It's like you put your guard up. Your guard, your guard is up and you're not trying to see the good. Because there's so much good in this car. It's so much good in this relationship. But it's like you're not trying to see it. Yeah, it's like it's so much. Like it's overflowing. Like your relationship is good. I would take this relationship. I don't know what this person is doing wrong. Let me know. Let us know down in the comments. Because we need to know. We need to have a talk. Because this person, it seems like they give a lot. I heard hugs and kisses. Somebody got, maybe you need more hugs and kisses. Maybe this maybe this person gives a lot, like financially, materialistically, like and maybe emotionally, but not emotionally the way you would define emotionally, emotional giving, if that makes sense. Like they might listen to what you got to say, talk to you, take you on dates and stuff. But as far as like physical touch, I think physical touch is a lot is a, um is for someone like somebody needs more physical touch from their partner. Perseverance. Yeah, but like even though y'all, okay, I think that some of you guys might have, like, a thing about not being physically touched. Because I keep seeing a back turn. I keep seeing a man with his back turned in bed. Right? Somebody's reading, reading something, too. But I think that maybe this man is not, like, he might be, because some men, like, they don't know how to express themselves, like, with physical touch and, like, intimacy and stuff like that but they'll express their ways by like taking care of you whether that be financially or just listening to you like doing acts of service around the house you know picking you up dropping you off taking you on dates stuff like that like telling you you're pretty but not actually you know being too touchy it made me this person may have like been like that in the beginning but then kind of like kind of slowed down or something like that or maybe they, i think a lot of them was never like that in the beginning but you like kind of feel like why don't you want to touch me but they do say this is for somebody they do say when you do get like married and stuff because i've never been married but i've been in plenty of relationships well not plenty i've been in like probably like three real long-term ones they do say like when you really love a person and you see a person every day like sometimes y'all don't really want to touch each other like sometimes they're not always going to like want to cuddle and stuff like that so so maybe this person just didn't want to cuddle at that time and stop because somebody will be somebody here is being real petty like they're here because their partner felt like he didn't want to cuddle at the time they wanted to cuddle and now they're like oh my god is this relationship worth it is this really but it's it's this is not something this little bit of slither of doubt you have it because this person doesn't emotionally express themselves enough with i really feel it's a physical touch and maybe like you might have told your mom or told his mom or told like somebody and they're like yeah that just means he probably cheating that's what i think it is i think that somebody had told you because your your person didn't want physical touch at the time they probably were saying some dumb shit like oh that means that he was probably giving it to someone else or something like that but it's not even that i don't see that this relationship is really strong this connection is really strong but it's like they planting a seed of doubt in your mind. But you're going to persevere through this. Like, I think you're going to figure out, like, it's not really that. Why don't you try talking to that person? Instead of watching pick cards. Like, I'm all for watching my pick cards. But you do, guys. You do, guys. You guys, you guys have to communicate. Because pick cards are here to aid you. Right? But you still got to help your own life. 
You still got to help your own life. Yeah, and good things will come. I think if you talk to this person and bring it to their attention, because I don't, I don't think this is brought to their attention. If you, if you brought to their attention, I think this will change the relationship. And the relationship is only going to get better. Yeah, you got personal growth. See, see y'all heard me shuffle. You got personal growth. So I think you got it. I'm going to be very blunt, and I don't want you to dislike me. Please don't unsubscribe. But you got to grow up. Because I see why this is childish. This is childish. Whatever they did was very minute. It was very small. It could have been like them not giving you a hug or give them not giving you a kiss this morning. So it could have been very, it could, you know, you know your story how it resonates, but it's very, it's very minute. It's very small. It's very small. And you experience you need to grow up. Like you can't just keep, or like you might have a slither of doubt because you might, you might be having emotionally scarred from your last relationship or whatever but i don't think it's even that i think that somebody planted a seed of doubt a friend some type of motherly figure older woman but you gotta understand like relationships are gonna have ups and downs like that person is not always gonna want to kiss all over you and touch all over you and 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 you know want to you know get in get in uh oh that's probably why i seen that tiktok yesterday i'm gonna tell you about the tiktok in a minute i have sex all the time but that doesn't mean they don't love you all right, I'm going to stop there because you being immature. So you don't get no more. <laughs> but I seen this TikTok the other day, right? And this lady was saying she was she was upset because her boyfriend, she was like, I got more dick when I was um when I was single because I could just call somebody and they would just come up and do whatever I want. And now I'm in a relationship. Like, I don't get no dick. I got to beg for dick. Like, I, I be getting it like once a week or whatever. So now I go upstairs and I call. I say, I'm complaining. Talk about he got a cramp and he's tired and all this stuff. Like, well, again, like when you get in a relationship, people get comfortable and you got to remember y'all see each other. Some of you guys might have just moved in with each other or going to move in. So it's like they see you so much every single day. And probably in the beginning, y'all was having sex a lot and they was cuddling with you a lot and talking to you a lot and just doing a lot. But when you with somebody every single day, it's like, all right, you know, so you need your space no matter how much you love them. And you know, the, uh, space makes the heart grow fonder. So don't be scared to give this person a little space. And if they want to roll over and not want to cuddle sometimes, like, read a book. That's why I probably watch this somebody reading. Read a book. It's something that you, a book you ain't finished, that you've been trying to read. It's for you guys, it's an audio book. Most of you guys, it's like some type of book. I see a red cover with some black, um, read. I see somebody got some nude nails, got their nails in, like, nude, nude, a nudie color, or, like, some type of, whatever. But, yeah, just read your book. Yeah, this is. This is like your ancestors is asking you to just calm down. <laughs> and they asking you, like, if you got a question, ask God. Talk to God about it. Pray about it, right? And they're also saying, you know this person's intentions. They showed you their intentions. They showed you their intentions. I feel like you may have asked God for a sign before. A spirit, your spirit team for a sign before. And they gave you a solid sign that this man or this woman had good intentions. And you need to go back to that. If you was praying about this person or asking about this person, you need to go back to that. And stop talking to your friends. We need to drop your pettiness. Drop whatever hurt you had in the past. Just, just drop it. I think that some of you guys may, may have uh, started an argument about this or you're going to start an argument about this. And if it hasn't happened yet, just drop it because it's really not that deep. It's really not that deep. Yeah. So is this relationship... Um, what is going on with your love life and is this relationship strong? It's a yes. It's like a minor issue, but it's like a, it's, it's because you're doubting something over something that happened that was small. I don't have to say too wrong because we all got feelings and stuff like that, but you got to pick and choose your paddles because it's like if that man or woman is coming home every single day at the same time they usually come home, you don't never got to find them. They text back when they text and call you like, you know, you see them every day. Like, when are they really cheating? Like, at work? Okay, like, come on. Come on. Like, come on. You get what I'm saying? Like, if you ain't feel... Because, listen, if, if you want proof of they cheating, ask God. Ask God to expose to you anything that they want to... That, that, that they should know. The man might have just been tired. Because I don't think this happens often. I just it's been happening. It's just been happening a little bit lately. Because they got to do something with cuddling. All right. That was part one. If, that, if you, um... If it resonated, please let me know. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Turn on the post notification so you can be notified every time I post a new video. And again, thank you so much for 350 subscribers. And I will be giving away my next reading at, at 400 subscribers. And we are only 30 people away. So 
With that being said, I'm on to pile two. What's going on with your love life? Somebody is running away from a situation. And this might lead to a breakup. But it's like you kind of want this person to go. It's like, cause for me, it's like, it's like you kind of want this person to go, and this person kind of plucking you to go. Like, get your ass on. Like, anyway, I think your relationship is like might need a, that might be bad timing. Schedule. Something wrong with you guys is schedules. Like your schedules are not matching up. Yeah. Okay. And with the get center card, I think that you're either really busy. Both of y'all might be entrepreneurs. Both of y'all might be entrepreneurs that have some type of high rank or just have some type of busy job. Or you could have like a regular job, but since it's holiday season, it's busy. Somebody might work for um, UPS or something like that. But at the end of the day, it's like whatever going, whatever is going on with y'all is because you guys are busy, right? It's like with this schedule, it's sitting out. There's something wrong with the schedule that y'all got going on specifically. Something wrong with the schedule y'all got going on. It's like it doesn't quite match up. It's like you feel like you have a lot on your plane and you just want to, you want peace. So it's like somebody here, I feel like you mostly, but it could be them, just want peace. Oh, if you might want to watch Pile 2. I mean, Pile 1, if you pick this Pile 2. Because it's kind of, uh, maybe, maybe not. If it resonates with you. But it's like, this person just want peace. It's like they got so much to do. They just want peace and rest. And that's putting a strain on the relationship. Because, like, it's like, y'all could like each other, but not really want to spend time with each other. Because when you do get alone time, you want to be alone. And you might feel like this person is always on your shoulder. Or this person might feel like you're always there. Every time they turn around, it's like, you're right there. You're right there. And they're like, yo, get the fuck away from me. Like, I love you to death, but get away from me. Like, also, some of you guys, this person expecting you to be Superwoman or Superman. They expect you to, to be able to do so much work and have time for them and have time for themselves and have time for their family. They just feel like they got to do this. They got to do that. They got to do this. And they like, they're really like literally dying inside. Like I can't do everything. Like I'm not Superman. Like, so they might think about taking a break from this relationship. Like, cause this, this is a little bit stressful. And I, I, my eyes got, they get a little heavy as I started. Your situation is a little, it's a bit stressful. Yeah, you got this car. This might come as a surprise. I think this reading might come as a surprise with you. But you might end up leaving this person. Like, you might get up one day and be like, all right, I'm cool. I'm about to get in my car and go. They might get up and, like, pack their shit and leave. I hope not. Because, I'm like, the thing about me being a tarot reader, like, you got to say what it is. And sometimes I'll be feeling bad because it's not, I'm not trying to manifest no negativity in your life. You get what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, like, it's, it's going to be negative aspects of life. But for every negative, there's a positive. So everything happens for a reason. So right now, it might just be time for you guys to both focus on yourself. Because it does take divine time. And that doesn't, that doesn't mean that it can't come back together in the future. But honestly, I feel like somebody is really tired of this anyway. Like, I feel like somebody is really like, I'm really tired of this anyway. Like, you got ultimate potential again. But for you, I'm saying, like, why is the same cards coming out? I don't like when it does that. But it, it like, I can't, I got to take it because I know I shuffled it. But for some of you guys, that's why, I, like I was just saying, it might be time for you to just work on yourself and, and, and reach your ultimate potential. Yeah, it's been it's like it's been saying that in the back of your mind. Like you've been hearing a little voice inside you, like yo, it's like it's time to go. If you're hearing that voice and, and you're hearing like, all right, it's time for me to go, time for me to go be by myself for this relationship is over, just go ahead and uh make that transition. And some of you guys might be like kind of iffy because you don't know what your family gonna think. So you guys might have kids and might have a lot of kids. No, I heard they don't have kids. Kids is watching. What kids is watching though? Kids is the kids is watching me something to somebody. You might have siblings or something like that, but somebody is watching, and because it's a it's a certain group of people watching, it's making you it's making you like iffy to leave. And it's also making that other person iffy to leave. So I don't know what situation y'all got on. It might could be both of y'all families. It could might be both of y'all work. Y'all might have a business together or something like that. A YouTube channel together. It could be something like that. And you guys are so overwhelmed in your own personal lives. Like, but you guys can't leave each other. 
because of these people watching. But I really think that it's, it turned out better. Self love, yeah. It might be time for you guys to um, focus on yourself. For some of you guys, Spirit wants you to really focus on yourself. Somebody might have slept on the couch or will sleep on the couch today. Or they might be so tired. See, you might want to watch Powell. Well, Powell 1 relationship is good. I keep saying that because their person is tired too. But why is everybody so tired in this pile? Because this person is tired too. Both of them are really tired. This one is really, is tired in a big in a, in a bigger way though. They look they look like they're ready to explore. They're like ready to explore the world, but like more so on their own. Cause like you see how this boat is kind of vo vo venturing on their own. This could be you or them, but somebody is. Is thinking about going on their own but it's not because they don't love the person it's kind of like they don't have time it's like believe it or not like some people really don't um i'm not gonna take that if it's true it'll come back out some people really don't not, not cherish love but some people really like want to live their life and like they don't have to be in love all the time if that makes sense so let's see if we can get anything else yeah, it came out. I hate when this happens because I'm like, no, nah, that card came out in the last pile, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna um take it again. But it came out twice, so obviously we got perseverance. Yeah, so it's a massive journey. So again, some of you guys might have been married or been in a long term. This might have been like I heard some of you will see in six years, been a long term relationship. So you kind of scared to go on your own with your friends and family are used to this person, and you don't want to disappoint them. But like, really, you ready to you ready to venture out on being your own? Some of you guys might be a Capricorn. Some of you guys like might go like going to the mountains. Want to go to the mountains? freaky pirates kind of want to date around like some of you guys just want to y'all don't have the time and energy it's like some of you guys feel like you can't live your life and be in a relationship with this person not because you don't love this person because this person is probably still your friend it's not probably still be your best friend y'all yeah, might still do stuff from time to time i heard some of you guys won't but it's just like you can't live your life and be a wife not i'm not saying that i'm not saying that i'm not saying that you can definitely do that but you feel like this i feel like you might feel like this or they might feel like this and it's like that's why they say that you're supposed to do a little bit of living before you get married but it's like both of you guys y'all might have started a relationship very young and then y'all got into your careers and stuff like that. So, situating your careers and everything, it's like hard because you gotta, it's like you have to be with that person all the time. You can't just be like, oh, I'm going to Asia for 30 days. Like, no, you're not. You know, and you're my spouse. Like, you can't fucking go to Asia for 30 days. It's like, <laughs> not without me. And I don't wanna go to Asia. So, we gotta make a compromise. Maybe we could do New York for two weeks. And you're like, I don't wanna do New York. Right? I wanna go big. So, something like that. Let's get some angel advice. But you know what's for you. Take what resonates and leave what it doesn't. Yeah, I heard this relationship was kind of running out of time. But it's not because it's toxic, though. It's because it's like, I feel like you in a box. Yeah. You feel like, spirit is trying to tell me, like, you feel, like, smothered. Like, you feel smothered. And if you feel like that, you need to, yeah, nurture. Okay, so this is, I got nurture. And it says, nurture your own inner child. So it's like, maybe you guys met young and you felt like you may have a childhood or something. And you want to go explore angel therapy. Let's see what this says. Give your cares and worries to the angel. Allow us to take care of your burdens. Yeah, you might have been thinking about that. And you're like, well, how can I just leave this person? If you feel like that, it's time for you to go. Or it's a very support manager. Go ahead and do that. Ask your angels for help. Like, go ahead and be like, God, give me a sign. Or, no, this is what I always say. Say, God, if this person not for me, take them out of my life. Say that. And I promise you, God will take that person out of like so fast <laughs> that they're not meant to be, if, they, if you're not meant to be with them. Then we got spread your wings. Yeah, it's like you want to explore. It's like you want to explore or they want to explore. Somebody want to explore. I really feel like it's you, but for some of you, it is your partner. But for a lot of you, it's you. Yeah, you want to just focus on yourself more. Notice how the moons affect your energy and manifestation. Capitalize on those cycles. 
for confirmation confirmation some of you guys might be on your cycle right now like your period cycle you might do new moon magic you might just keep up with the new moons and get outdoors a lot of you guys want to explore i think that if you want to explore and live your life i'm all for it i'm an advocate for it do what's best for your mental health because i don't think it has nothing to do with this person whether it's you or this person thinking like that this has nothing to do with you and this has nothing to do with them it's just like you may have felt like you want you got a little bit more life to, to live and you want to live it but that was your reading power too i hope it resonates please like and subscribe to my channel like this video and subscribe to my channel turn your post notifications on so you can be notified every time i post a video um, and the next time I'll be giving a free reading away is when we hit 400 subscribers. So you don't want to miss that video because we are only 30 people away. Yeah, but I know that feeling. That's somebody who got married young or been in a relationship for a long time. Okay, pile three, this is your reason. If this is your pile, if this is your pile, you pick the bay leaf. That shit made me tired. Hmm. This relationship can lead to marriage positive thinking okay you are kind of like power one definitely go watch power one but you're not as petty as power one because power one was real petty you all right before i say anything let me get a couple more cards because why does it tell you to think positive because you you should you it looks like you are read out the bad ones you're used to like something and you're not why do these fucking cards come out well, I hate when the same cards come out let me, try to, let me shuffle it even better but I know it's not that because you know different cards are coming out but I just don't like it but this could this relationship could lead to something long term it has a lot of potential to like a lot of potential to and I think it will some of you guys are engaged already or will be getting engaged Something like that. Mm, think of card readings are fluid. But time, sometimes the time shit happened, you done forgot about it. Because there's been times people have told me this was going to happen to pick a card reading, this was going to happen. And it ain't never happened for a long time. I forgot about it. And then it happened. I was like, oh, I did watch a pick a card reading like three months ago. And she said that. Like, but time you're not thinking about it. And I also heard that if you watch a pick a card about something, like the time of that is going to happen changes so, so, so you don't really know your life. Um, I think for some of you guys, this hasn't happened yet. This is why it's like that. This this is why he's doing that. Some of you guys, this hasn't happened yet. It's somebody who wants to come give you something. They want to take you on a date. They've been thinking about you. They're thinking about you in a positive light. Right? Finally, we got one where they're not in a relationship. Because the first two is definitely in relationships. Or in some type of situationships. But this person, I don't think they know you yet. They see potential in you. They see potential in having a relationship with you or dating you at least. And they don't know what to say to you. They're going to slide in your DM though. For some of you, they're going to slide in your DM. You might have a, a, a bikini picture as your profile picture. Maybe like the type of orange bathing suit or brown bathing suit. Or maybe that's the last picture you posted or they like a picture like that you posted or something like that. Somebody lives at the beach. Maybe in Florida or has pictures at the beach in Florida, likes pictures, likes Florida, likes the beach, something of that nature. Yeah, but they can't figure out what to say to you. They feel like whatever they say to you is like trash. So it's like sometimes they type a message, but they don't ever send it. Or like if you ever like wake up and your phone got like, oh, uh, unsent by a sender, that'd be some shit from them. Yeah. You got playfulness. They're gonna come in and ask you to ask you out on a date. This person like motorcycles. He might ride a motorcycle. She he might like motorcycles. Might ride a motorcycle. This is gonna happen real soon because she has a sweater and a scarf on. So it's gonna happen during now. I heard during the pandemic. Even though it's not pandemic, they still gonna ask you out. Everything's gonna happen really fast. They're gonna take you on a really nice date, like a suit and tie type date. You're gonna find that they really friendly, and they're gonna have a really nice smile gentle yeah he's gonna come in like very like for some of you guys it's gonna be like a he's gonna be cute but he's gonna be like a little bit of a nerdy type looking guy like he's gonna be like more of a softer guy right and a strength card let's see
Some of you guys might have just got out of a bad relationship or just stopped talking to somebody that didn't work out. Or you could just be like, oh my God, like I'm so over dating. Like people are like bullshit. So if you feel like that, they're asking you to have strength. They're asking you to try again. They're asking you not to be so like dark about it. <laughs> That's why I'll be needing that after these readings. That last one took it out of me. That part of it is tired. Sick and tired, and I'm proud to listen. Sorry. Yeah, this person is going to ask y'all. Communication. See, you're getting communication soon from this person. I'm not going to go any deeper to this because I wanted to surprise you. But yeah, somebody is, what's going on with your love life is somebody's about to come in. They're about to come in real soon. It's going to happen real quickly and real fast. Like, it's going to be happening so fast. Like, they're going to ask y'all, you're going to be on a date in the next week. Like, it's not going to be, you know how you had those uh, those guys that come in your DM, like, oh, you want to go out? And then you be like, yeah, and then they never, you never hear from them for like weeks at a time and shit. And then they pop up again. Now, this is going to be a person that's going to ask you on a date and they're going to take you on a date. They're going to ask you on a date and they're going to take you on a date. I heard this is a soulmate connection. I'm not saying that you're going to end up getting married, but it has potential that might. But they're definitely going to come in and give you with a date or some type of energy. Notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind and, or from other people. I think that you're going to have a friend that's going to, that's going to entice you to go on this date. Like your friend will be like, girl, go. Or boy, if you don't go, like, well, I think this is more so a girl energy. Or something like that. Or you could be a man that's thinking about taking a... Okay. For some of you, you could be a man that's thinking about taking a girl on a date. And I'm here to tell you. I'm this energy <laughs> that's telling you take a man on... Take take this girl on a date. Or if it's, if it's a man... For some of you guys, it might be a same-sex couple. That's crazy. And that's why you're scared. Because you might be like... Not on a down low, but like not too comfortable with your sexuality yet. So you might be like, I don't know if I want to ask this person. Now, this person is, you know, whatever you are. So go ahead and ask them out. I might be this person that's telling you. For others of you, you might be a female and a, and a male might slide in your DM. And you might be sitting next to your girl or your girl might be like, yeah, go ahead and date him. Like, he's cute. Like, you know, like, it might be like that. But some, some, it's an energy that's going to tell you to go ahead and date this person in there, right? You need to listen to them. Somebody heard said, they don't never know what they talking about, though. Like, this time they know what they talking about. Yeah. This person going to show you their clear intentions and you end up falling falling for this person they're gonna give you a hug that you will never that you're never gonna forget and you're gonna feel really warm i really want this hug anything else spirit i didn't have all these cards and spirit will really keep using the same type of cards but i don't really have like 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 i have enough but like you got to be clear. Sometimes it's, it'll be the same energy. Yeah, angel therapy is still saying the same thing. Ask your angels for help. Everybody. But well, this person is definitely coming. They're definitely coming towards you. To give you something. Whatever they're going to give you is what they're going to like. You don't like what they're coming to give you. And it's from the angels. Their higher self. They must be. They must. Some people get, are controlled by their higher self. Some people are controlled by their 3D self. Some people are controlled by some type of entity or whatever they allow to control them. But this person is controlled by their higher self. So their higher self is coming to you. Like this is a, a legit person. Like these are people that this is one type of person that we don't really meet too often. Gentleness. This person is going to be really gentle and slow with you. So just breathe and relax. Okay? Look into their eyes. When you're talking to them, look into their eyes. And that's how you'll be able to tell. But okay, that was your reading pile too. If it resonated, please let me know. Please leave a comment down below. Share the video with anything you might like. Anyone who think you might who think you might like it. <sighs> Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.